And don't come out until we're famous. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Fading Hearts. I'm Music Combat. And I'm Run Bam Run Faster. And apparently I don't get to say anymore, because I'm sick in the <laughs> corner. Yep. We don't, we don't let the invalids talk. And today we're seeing... What happened? Oh, yeah. What's her face? Uh, abuse! What's her face that her boyfriend is abusing her. So. Abuse! Yeah, Rita doesn't seem satisfied with that. Honestly, I'm not either, so let's see what's going on. And that's saying something, because oh. Rena is always satisfied. Starting off the episode with a choice. Oh, God. Uh, what should I do about it? We have to make a decision. Ooh, we can choose to sit down and meditate for a little bit. Light a few candles, put on that, some that, peaceful that's, that's music mediate. in the room. Mediate. Oh. <laughs> oh. The word is mediate, people. <laughs> Which may involve a few candles as well. I, 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 you know, <laughs> all of my mediations eventually lead to a threesome. So I think we should attempt to mediate then. I we don't have all the facts, so I'm down for that. I think so because we're not we're not like actively we going after mediate. either Rena or Claire. So let's... no, no, yeah. Let's mediate. Mediate powers activate. <laughs> Transform into a bucket I of don't... mediation. <laughs> I don't like to take sides on disagreements between friends, but I can at least intervene to stop this from becoming a fight. Wow. Rena, I know how you feel, and it's only natural to be worried about a friend you think is in trouble. But Claire would tell us if she needed help. Right, Claire? Ooh, bad policy. Dots. Dots, dot, dot. Of course. I know you're worried. But being a good friend means looking at things from Claire's point of view, too. Okay? I look deep into Rena's eyes. I get uncomfortably close to her. Her gigantic, bulbous <laughs> eyes. Praying she'll understand that this doesn't, this doesn't mean I'm giving up on Claire. We just have to take a more delicate approach. Dot, dot, dot. You're right. I'm sorry, Claire. I'll do anything to make it up to you. Oh gosh. She like leans into her ear and like licks her ear. <laughs> wow. Wow. Ryu's just like, oh yeah, I'm getting laid. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sorry too. Everybody made up. Relieved. I give Re I give Rena a quick smile and an encouraging nod. Da 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 da. You stopped the fight. For not, I almost said an encouraging food. <laughs> Here, have this Twinkie. You're doing well. I've got 33 sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, we do. Now that that's settled, let's get going before we're hit with tardiness. <laughs> I start walking before they can object, leaving them no choice but to silently fall into step behind me. I'm the leader. Man, was that stressful. I like how we have that, like, in-between frame. Like, okay, <laughs> you have to be in the halls before you're in the classroom. <laughs> All right, everyone, it's time to get started. Oh, hey, Mystica! <laughs> Man, it's even harder to focus on the lecture now that I'm thinking about Claire's boyfriend. What a douche, right? <laughs> I'm wondering if ta uh, talking to Sophia would help. After what she said yesterday, I'm willing to bet that she knew all about this from the beginning. The hours crawl by until it's finally lunchtime, once again. 33 sandwiches, go! <laughs> now to go find that nosy reporter. I'll starve today. <laughs> I leave the classroom and head out into the hall in search of Sophia. Now, where is she? She said I'd be able to find her, like here, you, always. You, 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 you should, uh... You, you you should make all your all your all your lines as if they were like full of sandwiches. And you're like eating on the go. <laughs> yes. Looking for someone. <laughs> that's that's not a line. That's that's narration. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I jump and turn around. With Sophia behind me. Okay now. Oh. Yes, you are sure I is here. Perfect. I, I, I vote that we veto that now. Per no, I love it. No. I'll oh. stop doing that. I'll do something different. Are you ready to talk now? I don't, I don't remember how I did her voice last time. Rush. You want information, and I want information. I think we can come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. Don't touch the portion of the desk that's in front of me, please. Good. Let's take a walk. She's moving from the place that she was assigned. She doesn't seem surprised I changed my mind so quickly. 
I wonder how much she really knows about what's going on in this school. I trail behind her, trying to size her up as she leads me to some place more quiet. Is she a 32B or... Which is code for (laughs) he's checking out her ass. So then... We moved? Yes. Can't you tell? Those signs are completely different from the signs in the last scene. Tell me a... Oh, sorry. It's my line, goddammit. Don't you I'm step too, on my I'm, lines. I'm too excited. Thirteen years in the Royal Shakespeare Company for this! <laughs> I love you, Sir Patrick Stewart. Tell me your good friends... Tell me about your good friends, Claire and Reed. Boy, she gets down to business quickly. She's already taking off her panties. I met Claire about a year after the Y2K disaster. <laughs> oh, yeah, that that's a thing, by the way. I forgot about that. Thanks for reminding us, game. The people of the internet already know about that one. I know. I just, it's been so long since they brought it up. She's really driven and focused, so she's in a lot of clubs. She's the one who introduced me to Rena. Rena is a millennial or- orphan, and she's amazingly smart. But despite that, she's really disorganized and forgetful and kind of dumb. Dots. That's it? What else am I supposed to say? It's not like they have some kind of secret past or anything. Would you say they've been acting any differently lately? Yeah. I shake my head, but then I remember Rena's visit last night. Well, last night, during the storm, Rena came to my place in tears, telling me Claire's boyfriend was abusing her. She came to your place? Has this bitch not heard of cell phones? (laughs) So, you didn't know about Claire's boyfriend, then? So, she did know about it before. What else is there she isn't telling me? What else is there, yeah. What else is there that she isn't telling me? No, Claire never talks about him. Dots. It wasn't part of the agreement, but I'll make an exception this time. Consider it my duty as as a reporter to expose misconduct. Claire's boyfriend is named Mark. Marky Mark? Oh, that was just a generic guess. Yeah, that was just a... it was Mark. Mark. He lives in the town he lives in the next town over and comes off as friendly, but has serious control issues. He was arrested once for assault, but the victim refused to press charges. And I am so upset about this. Not that not not that that was the only incident though. Just the only time the police got involved. Somehow, hearing it presented as cold hard facts makes it even worse. I had hoped to learn that there was uh I hoped to learn There was that... I... Oh my gosh. Learned there was nothing to what Rena said. But she was absolutely right. This guy is bad news. So wait. Wait, wait, wait. Rena comes in, and she's all like, Abuse! And he's all like, I believe you unconditionally. And then Claire comes in, and she's all like, No abuse. And and Rena's all like, I believe you unconditionally. And then this girl walks up, and she's like, Abuse! It's like, I believe you unconditionally. (laughs) God damn it, Ryu! I don't know. (laughs) <laughs> Claire, why would you go out with such a creep? Why are you letting him hurt you? Allegedly. Allegedly. Ryu, you there? I try to focus, but it's all, o- all so overwhelming. The more I try to think, the more my head swims. So it's true. But what can I do about it? Have you tried talking to her? She's way too pig-headed to listen to me. Wow. All she does is, like, snort all day. It's gross. I bet the more I try to persuade her, the more she'll stick by him. I've never been able to change her mind about anything. At least all of... All of... Something... Least of all something so touchy and personal as her relationship. But wait. Sophia said something about the wings of light. That they're good at breaking up relationships. Even if the girl is as willful as Claire, and that one of uh, oh my gosh, and that one of them goes to our school now. Would you like me to take over the narration? I got it. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, just trying to offer a friendly bit of help. <laughs> if I could find him, maybe he'd agree to ba- uh, to break up Claire and her boyfriend. To bake up Claire and her boyfriend. Very nice. The, the, <laughs> the wings of light are actually pot dealers, people. <laughs> The idea of striking an, uh, striking a deal with one of those heartbreakers disgusts me, but I'd do worse for Claire's sake. Hey, I told you what I know, so tell me who the ex-member of the Wings of Light is. 
That look on your face says you've got something on your mind. It's none of your business. <coughs> Will you hold up your end of the bargain or not? Bitch, I'm the school reporter. It <laughs> is my business. I don't renege. Oh god, that's a word. What? Renege? Renege? Renege. Renege. Okay, I was right. I don't renege on my deals, Ryu. If you are looking for a member of the Wings of Light, you won't have to look far. The way she said it, there's definitely more meaning to it. But what if she's the Wing of Light? Oh no. What do you mean? You're already well acquainted with him. Why don't you ask that otaku friend of yours for help with Claire? Oh, dang! Bullshit. Wait, you mean Alex? Present. <laughs> Do you have any other otaku friends who moved here several months ago? He's a nerd obsessed with big-eyed girls shooting magic bullets. There's no way he'd be mixed up in anything like the Wings of Light. What was that sound? <laughs> You guys didn't hear that. There were cats fighting in the background. It was humorous. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Fine. Don't believe me then. But if you want to know more, you've got to watch the next episode of Fan Service. Oh my gosh. You like that, guys? We got meta. It was really good. Yeah. So uh, if you like this episode, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share with all your friends. Wow. <laughs> you probably did hear that one. Anyway, we've got to go break up a fight, but until next time, I've been Run Bam Run Faster. I'm Music Combat. Fair enough. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.